Many of the UK's black church leaders have united to show their support of the COVID-19 vaccine rollout. Millions of adults in the UK have now had the COVID vaccine. But there are still some of us who are worried about getting the jab for understandable reasons, steeped in our experience with institutions. Aware of the concerns people have, black churches and healthcare professionals come together to reassure their communities and remind them that prevention is better than cure. Some people have commented, does it contain aborted fetal cells? Does it contain microchips or animal products? It does not contain any of these products. Other issues that often arise, why have the vaccines happened so fast? All the steps required to ensure that the vaccines are safe have taken place. They have simply been compressed. The vaccines are safe products. And church leaders have made clear that getting the vaccine aligns with our faith in God and Christian values. Jesus said, love your neighbor as yourself. And when you think about it in reality, when we take the vaccine, it protects us, protects our family, our friends, and our community. And it saves the NHS from breaking point. We see that even Jesus had a physician on his team. The book of Acts was written by a man called Luke. He was uh, a medical doctor, a physician. We also see that in Jesus' parables, when he spoke, in Luke 10, 33, he spoke about the Good Samaritan. And he says that uh, when the Samaritan came and saw the man that was wounded, he bandaged his wounds, pouring on oil and wine. Oil and wine was their form of medicine, disinfectant. And he set him on his animal and brought him to an inn and took care of him. An inn will be a hospital of today's day. Jesus Christ would never have used an example like that if he was averse to hospitals or medicine. Church leaders are doing more than just speaking out in support of the vaccine. They are also putting their faith into action. I want to encourage us to think about opening up our churches as vaccine centers. Pastor Aga Arukru, pastor of Jesus House, has volunteered the use of Jesus House in Brent as a pop-up vaccination site. I believe also that it's Part of the answer to our prayers, I said to my congregation, we've been praying for God to give the scientific community wisdom um, for them to get a vaccine. There's the vaccine now. So prayers have been answered. Why don't you go ahead and take the vaccine? Reverend Doug Williams, pastor at Emmanuel Community Church International, which opened as a pop-up vaccination site in February said, as a church, we cannot dictate the choice our congregants make, but we were happy to support a borough-wide initiative in Walton Forest to encourage residents, especially Black and Asian community members, to receive the vaccination. We now have safe and effective vaccines to protect us from the virus and save lives. It's a personal choice whether you take the vaccine or not, but it's important that your decision is an informed one. We have lost too many lives to COVID-19. Please, let's not lose lives as a result of misinformation. To find out more about what churches in England have to say about the vaccine, visit cte.org.uk forward slash coronavirus. Mm -hmm.